What's good guys, it's Mike, aka Buzz Lightyear here. Welcome back to another episode of the Gun Review. This time we're going to be hitting up the UMP 45 or the UMP. This gun in MW2 was well known for its accuracy and stopping power even at a distance. This gun seems to be toned down a little bit for this game, which is kind of surprising. The iron sights and everything are really, really good for this gun. So let's go ahead and get into the statistics. Alright, so the accuracy for this gun is just good. The damage is 35 close to 17 far. The fire rate is 720 rounds per minute. The damage per second is 437 close to 312 far, and then the mag size is 32. These statistics actually stack up pretty well against the other submachine guns. The men, what I meant by it being toned down is the fact back in MW2, this gun was the weapon of choice for most players. And in this game, it still is. A lot of guys still use this gun. The problem is you got guns like the PP90M1 and the MP7 that are so much more stacked as far as fire rate goes. The fire rate on the uh, those other two guns absolutely dominate this gun. So it's not so much the fact that this gun sucks, it's the fact that we've been introduced to new guns that have better weapon statistics, have higher fire rates, things like that, things that make the gun better. Okay, so, the number of shots to kill. You've got two close to the head, four to far, to the neck you got three close, six to far, and to the body or torso you've got three close, six to far. I had a host migration, I was making kids back out, I was pooping on them so bad. I'm going to go ahead and show this, I'm going to skip through this real quick. Watch how, this was the weirdest spot, I have never seen this in this on the map, Bacara. But check this guy out, watch this, I'm going to slow mo up for you. How the hell did he get himself up there? I, drop me a comment in the comments below if you know how to do that. Also, I just noticed today that I accidentally been posting uh, a lot of the gun reviews, I've been putting some of the map village. Um, that's my bad guys, I didn't realize that I was doing it. Um, but this map for me, I just absolutely wreck house every time I play it. So this is just something that I do. Um, I know a lot of players like Dome and things like that, but this map for me is just, I absolutely destroy kids on it. So, my bad for the gameplay. In the next MW3 review series, I'll try to do something different, like maybe one of the new maps. Okay, so, the recommended attachments. I always use, like, Red Dot Silencer when I first unlock them. Naturally, when you unlock it, you want to use Rapid Fire. That's probably one of the best attachments you can have. And then, of course, the recommended proficiencies. The second you unlock it, you want to use Kick. Something like Range, and then, of course, the two attachments perk. The two attachments perk, like using Silencer or uh, Rapid Fire on this gun, absolutely devastating you cannot go wrong with that attachment or even rap uh, you know rapid fire red dot depending on the way you like to play personally the iron sights in this gun you don't even really need a red dot but if you want to use it you can you know to get a little bit of a longer range kill personally where do i rank the gun i rank it in fourth that's where i put the gun at i think it's a fairly strong placing the gun overall is a really fun gun to use and i liked it a lot um, other guns you might like to use, maybe the MP5, the PP90M1, or the MP7. Just depends on your style of play, I guess. If you're a running gunner, this gun would be the gun for you. Anyways, guys, that's the gun review. I hope you liked the video. If you could, throw me a real quick thumbs up. I'm out of here. I hope you're all keeping it real. I'll talk to you soon. Peace!